The next grappling position we want to cover is that of the guard. The guard is basically when John comes on top of me and I wrap his, my legs around his body, controlling his head so he cannot branch off and come striking me down. Now, from personal experience, it is never a fun time when you have someone three times your size in your guard for two reasons. The first reason is you, you probably can't even wrap your legs around him. Second, he's going to prevent you from breathing. If he has even a little bit of jujitsu training or if he's striking you, you're going to be hard pressed to get this man off of you. So I would never advise pulling the guard in a street altercation. You only use the guard if you have to. Now, the first instance we're going to say Sean is in my guard. So we're in here, maybe I fall down, I wrap him up from here. What can I do if I'm on the street? The first thing you should do is box the ears like that in here. What I would do now is take my thumbs and gouge his eyes. From here, I either open palm the chin, hammer fist the nose, or finger poke the throat. This will help you get him off, because if I can open palm this way and turn, I can get him down where I want him, and then use my techniques. Let's recap that. He's in here, he's in my guard. I didn't choose for this to happen, this is what occurred. From here, I box the ears, eye gouge, hammer fist, open palm straight into the teeth, finger poke. I can use my karate choke from here. What I want to do is open up and switch them off from here. Now I can use my elbow strikes, my finger pokes, my groin strikes. Now that we have covered what to do if Sean's in my guard, let's cover what to do if he pulls guard in a street fight or if he knows some jujitsu training and he utilizes this against me. He pulls me in his guard from here. Now, even if he pulls me in, that's fine. What I want to do is keep my hands up here. I take my finger poke that we learned in the first DVD, Place it on his chest like we did in the first DVD, and then slam it right into his throat. There we go. That's the beginning of the end for my adversary. Second, say he even pulls me in from here. I'm able to slide my hands up like this. My thumbs are readily available in. Now look, hammer fist, hammer fist, hammer fist, and the altercation. I assure you his guard will open. If it doesn't, well, you just take that hammer fist and then you open palm. If that doesn't work, then you want to pull on his ear. That works great too. Again, he, I'm in his guard, he pulls me in, maybe he cups my head into here. But maybe I can, I can do that, I can eye gouge. Look, when I'm here too, I can use either a pinching of the side, just like awesome. that. That will work. Remember, pinching, biting, whatever you need to do to get out of this situation. Again, we'll say, my hands are down here. Look, I'm pinching, I'm pinching. Now, watch this. He's in here, he has me in the guard. We'll do it on this side so you can see. I take my two fingers in and pinch the inner thigh. That releases the guard. Bam! Right in the groin. End of story. Again, let's recap that so you can see. It just depends where your hands are. If I'm in here, my hands, I want to slide them up this way. And I go, hammer fist, hammer fist, open palm, finger pump, pussy air. Whatever you'd like to do. Now, maybe he's preventing my arms from getting up from here. I pinch, I strike, I strike, look from here. His, I send this in. Forget breaking the guard, I just pinch away. There it is, now look, here's his knee on that great 45 degree angle. I take my hammer fist, wham, right in there. Look here, boom, now look, boom. And then I gently and slowly stand up and then run away.